All right, Shalom Rastafarine, Rasia Dinos Tafarine. Now we're going through, uh, I don't even know what to really call it right now, but um, it was about uh, real money. We call it real money. Yo, are you real money? Money, you real? Money, you real? Maybe that might work. I, I, I'll head rest until we post up there. We've got a couple of other vids to post up, but it's just to remind you about these two right here. One of them is real. You know, one of them has real value behind it. One of them is a certificate. The one on top is a certificate. And we touched on it in the vid that we'll call this the third part. And this right here is a note. Right? And we touched on the I. You understand? This I, that Zachariah, how Zachariah chapter, um, what you call it, uh, chapter 5, verse 6. But if you look in your King James, Right, uh, Queen Jane Bible. Really, be, if you want to give credit to the one who really did the work, it's William Tyndall. All right, William Tyndall and others at time, but it's not really so-called King James. King James just gets the, you know, well, not that's not it's not even a Bible point right now. But what is the point about the Bible is that we actually compared that verse to um. To the twelve prophets, let's let's uh, bring this over right here to the twelve prophets that we the twelve prophets the Hebrews in the Hebrew. Um, can we get any light on this right here? Okay, now it charges up. Now we got some light on this, right? The twelve prophets right here, right? And we had um, made the note that it really says this I, and then. It, the, the interesting thing is, is it speaks to what does that I mean? Let me just, once again, you know the I on the dollar bill. I, I thought that we might have it on something or in some book that, that much larger so we can show it to you. But you're all familiar. If you're not, then, okay, here, we, here we're going to one of Dr. Um, Dr. Malachi Z. York. In fact, free Dr. York. People say, well, what? But they say what he said about his majesty, about Hala Selassie. Well, Yes, that he did, and that we rebuked. The others just sat on the sidelines. Mom of the Israelites, right, um, just sat on the sidelines. But be that as it may, still free Dr. York, and we want to touch on that. We was going to do a recording the other day, but, you know, much is, much is going on. And, but there, there's a point that we want to make about that whole um, matter, too, because they, it's a big setup. Yehovah's, and, and they want us to be divided and conquered. I don't mean that we agree with um, Imam Isa Muhammad and everything, but what are we saying here? We're saying that you have to look at the bigger picture, right? Even the Bible, even when we come from a biblical perspective, the Father can be blasphemed, any blasphemy to the Father can be forgiven, to the Son can be forgiven, but not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of truth. You understand? What he said concerning his majesty, we don't regard as being true. You understand? And we dealt with it. I mean, we researched it, and we, and we saw it wasn't. And we said, wait, he's, he's kind of out of his jurisdiction right here concerning Ethiopia. Maybe ancient Ethiopia as it connects with Egypt and Sudan, because one part of Ethiopia is Sudan. So when you understand, I mean, ancient times. So that's just a little message right there. But we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully, y'all willing, we'll go through it a little bit more. Um, but this is one of his, 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 his older books, Leviathan 666. 666. But we're going to do a little bit more on that 666. In fact, they have 666 Park Avenue coming out, a new television show, because now it's about the externalization of the hierarchy, right? And do you know what that really means in real time? You know, but if you look at the League of Nations symbology, and as you can understand, you can see what that really means in, in kind of real time and what they're externalizing, right, and how that connects with the five-pointed star and how they like to flip things upside down. The Lord says you're flipping things upside down. He will lightly esteem that, right? The King of Kings and his Christ lightly esteems they're flipping things upside down. But he, he gives them a moment to do you understand? Destined our lot, or destined our lot, show. 
you understand, as, as, as they think is, what makes them happy, you understand, um, for a moment. People say, well, why would he do that, so forth and so on? Why? You got free will. You want the Almighty to take away your free will? You understand, but the King of Kings, Katamawi, Haila Selassie, I and I, God, Father, and King of Kings, he says, um, to make our wills obedient to good influence, influences and to avoid evil, it show the greatest wisdom the greatest wisdom, the greatest hokma, the greatest tibet, and we'll get into that. And most of you all are familiar with this, so you know where we can where we can go with that. All right. And others who haven't, um, um, check out the good news of his majesty, the good news I and I, um, um small pamphlet. And we're gonna start to link some of our videos, you understand, with or link in the description certain books that there are certain books that one can order because one has to redeem the time because the days are evil. So here we're one of the first books. I think it's one of the first Dr. York books that we got and we read. It's with edition number 2828, right? So on some levels we were familiar with this, not from some of the Europeans out there who are beginning to, you know, the Anglo-Americans, and, and there's some very good books, William Cooper, his book is um, one of them. In fact, you know, I might have to go and read this again. We know he updated it, but the older ones are are are, are classical. You understand? Know, are very very classic right here. But let's see. He says he said that this this eye is the eye of Nimrud, the pale man's god. That's coming from a Imam Isa Muhammad perspective right there. We have learned. Um, through the King of Kings and, and his Christ, we've learned actually that you could you can interpret it that way. It does not offend us, you know, if you do interpret it that way. But there's really a high interpretation to that um, Illuminati eye, the eye that we see on the back of the doll. But I want to also to say this too, because some might when we talk about the Good Shepherd, remember this right here. This is a bootjack, bootleg, right? The old time bootleg right here. You all know, you all probably got it while. Well, you know, in one of these shops waiting for food or whatever like that, somebody outside or in the shop selling, and you want to support the brother. You, you all know what I'm talking about, so that's, that's what you're doing. Actually, the video is pretty good as far as it's like there's two kind of bootlegs. There's, there's one kind of bootleg. In fact, this is almost like what we're talking about here, just to see how all of this like kind of comes, comes together. There's two different kind of bootlegs right here, right? There's the bootleg. Or, or, you know, there's the bootleg, or there's always this duality on a certain level. You have to really understand this, not making a religion around it, but you have to understand this as a principle. There's the bootlegs, which it seemed like somebody from the studio let it out, because you'd be like, wow, this is really, you know what I mean? And this is before the cameras got better and all that kind of stuff, right? And then there's the other kind where somebody sneaks in, got a friend in the, in the, in the, in the, in the theater, in the theater, you know, right, and they go and set up shop and you hear people coughing and talking and sometimes from my shadow pass by the screen, you know that way. But this is kind of one of the ones where they must have let it out. They wanted to let it out, right? And I remember I was saying before when I looked at this, I was like, oh, wow, Nagis Lika, Nagis Lika, so that's an Ethiopian name. So after I did that lecture, I actually went to the internet. We went to the internet. We started to look so from so on. She's actually is an Ethiopian. Um, I think Nigerian um, actress and filmmaker or filmmaker, director, you know, into the um, movie making business like Nollywood, so forth and so on, right? And, and, and we should patronize and support those efforts um, of our people. It's, it's kind of refreshing, you know, some of the stale stuff we'd be seeing from the, you know, the other, the other, the other guys, right? But anyway, be that as it may, in one of the vids, right, maybe we'll try to put this, it'd be kind of odd to put that after that, but we'll see how it works out. We had said, oh, wow, she a film by. And so we looked on the Internet, looked at all the film review, this and that, and trying to find out how come this keeps saying Robert De Niro. They don't want to give the Ethiopian woman no credit, right? Sometimes that's true. Because remember, the, the movie actually has a scene near the end of it where a Ethiopian woman, or at least she seemed Ethiopian to us, gets pushed out of this, out of this uh, plane, 
they say she's a Soviet spy, you know, according to the script and everything. And one of the one of the guys in the movie was going to marry her, and some of the other agents did that. And then when they found out that actually the woman was pregnant or whatever like that, and and you know, but still, Skull and Bones, Secret Society, OSS, CIA, they did what they had to do um, for their for their people. This is why I and I do what we have to do also for I and I people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at least to honestly share information and, and intelligence and hope and pray, you know what I'm saying, that the brothers and sisters will, will, will use it effectively, all right, and in grace and in truth. So we wanted to say that this right here, in the classic bootleg sense, the, the, the cover and the back is not all what is cracked up, what is, what is portending to be, almost like this 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 kind of dollar right here. So I can't really feel too upset with the. I think it was an African brother actually from a you know more native African. Where you know what I'm saying, right? Um, because when you, when we give this talking about its money and its value, it's really a note. It's a note. This note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. The the original money. The 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 one that has some value to it, it says this certificate is um, legal tender. So one is a certificate and one is notes. We have to go check Black's, Black's um, dictionary. I think it's put up, check Black's dictionary, right, and really find out what is the legal differences between a note and certificate. We already know that a note is like an IOU. Right? So it's like an IOU. You don't really have any. That's why you can't get the same thing. You, you, you can't get the same value for a dollar. That's why they say, oh, you know, a dollar used to be, you know, for a dollar, like my pops used to be telling me, like for 25 cents, 30 cents. You know, back in the days before a lot of these things got set up, you understand, um, the way that it is today and it's they still are further setting it up because they have a whole agenda. You need to, you know, know about um, these things. Um, that for 25 cents, 30 cents, like a quarter, 50 cents, you was like a rich man. I'm, you know, we're hearing these stories, or at least I heard these stories, and I'm thinking, like, what is he talking about? What planet, Dad, were you on? I mean, what planet were you on? And we couldn't understand it now as we begin to learn more about the whole so-called, um, I don't even like to say call it New World Order. And if you've seen the vid where we talk about that the New World Order is Christ, New World Order, really. And all they're doing is trying to redo the same old thing that got brought down, you know, saying that, that, that the King of Kings already, you know, that's why they hate this man right here. You know what I'm saying? That's why they hate our Godfather. That's why they hate Edomawi Haile Philosophy. One more. One more matter, not one last thing, but one more matter, and, and let us go right here and look at this. This is interesting because we talked about, we probably have to do this in, in its own vid. Um, you know, we got a little bit of money, got a little damage, and we got all, you know, but then we have to say it's just, because this is, this is precious documentation, evidence. Um, whose inscription do you see on there? The Lion of Judah, right? The Lion of Judah, right? Right. This is His Majesty's money. This right here is a Hamsa Bur. Now it's interesting, as we showed before. If you look right here, right? Which way? Which way is the? If you look right here, right? If you look right here, now you see what it says right there. Now this is the. This is one of the reasons also for the revolution in Ethiopia when you start to examine. Um, how the money was, the, 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 the rate, because this is when it was still based on silver. And if you see that film where His Majesty came to America and he visited um, with the United States president, assassinated before he was assassinated, of course, but the president of the United States, JFK, and if you hear what JFK said, and we heard something about His Majesty brought silver, like when he went to the Lincoln Memorial, he presented a wreath and a reef was made out of X amount of Ethiopian silver, um, bebu bi babe, de, bur, bur, right, bur, right, the bur, um, the silver, we call it the shekel, the Ethiopian shekel, 
right? And he presented. And then we saw a clip on the YouTubes where Farrakhan was actually saying something very interesting. And, and what we're saying is more and more information because we said that, listen, that there was, a, there was a Illuminati plot against Ketamawi Haile Selassie. And in one way, it's a little similar to what happened with um, um, the whole Napoleon thing. People say, oh, he lost at Waterloo. No, no, no. What happened is that he had this, this interest-free, you know, loans and everything else, and the, the, the bankers, uh, the, the London bankers, the Baals, the Balaam, because this is the Balaam world, right? This is Balaam, right? Um, the world system, right? They didn't like the fact that His Majesty's currency was still backed up by silver. And up until the 1970s, right, it was still backed up by silver. But when did this come into effect? What, 1930-something? The, 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 the new notes, right? So before, when we look at the original money, money, right, when we look at the original money, let's put this money here, right? This was, this is the silver certificate. We already touched on that, right? And it's payable to the bearer on demand. We see right here in silver payable to the bearer on demand, right? You see that right down here. The, the close up, it, it blurs a little bit, right? But right, you can see that down there. We, we went into, you can look up, look up silver certificate and you could, I could get one and you could blow it up and look at all the details, right? Now, we look at his Imperial Majesty's money, but then in the 1930s, after the stock market crash, when did the market crash? They said it was in what, 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 19, um, what was it, 1920, 29, the crash of 1929, and then the next year, you understand the coronation of Ketamawi Haile Selassie, the coronation of His Imperial Majesty? See, it's a bigger picture. But they want to make you believe that it's not just about one small country. It's not about Ethiopia. It's not about Haile Selassie. It's not about his claims. It's not about Ethiopia's claims. It's not about our claims coupled with their claims. It's not about God and his word. It's not about prophecy. It's not about any of that. It's about their make-believe. You see, that's why when we pointed it out on the back of this, because it was backed up by, um, by silver, right, by the real shekel, economy or bur, right, um, economy, they didn't have to put in God we trust. You see that right there? There's no in God we trust. Now, let's take out the notes that you use, the Federal Reserve notes. You have any problem with this? Take this up with the Federal Reserve, right? Anyway, the Federal Reserve notes, you see right here? It says in God we trust, right? And there's nothing about no silver. You'd be lucky if you get 10, right? So it makes a lot of sense now when my pops used to say, you know, because a lot of people didn't really understand this economic system, right? And what we recognize is that his imperial majesty did. And that's why he refused, but certain Ethiopians were bought off. You know, you always find those Askarotawi. You always find those Judas Iscariots, right? Many who were initiated into secret society, so forth and so on, and they felt that, oh, they understand how the world run, and let's get rid of the old man. When the old man is out the way, then we can run things the way the Illuminati says. But His Majesty resisted that. And see, here's one of the proof. Because some people say, okay, yes, we know you're Rastafarian and you love Haile Selassie because you say, ja. You know, that's the way folks think. But it's deeper than that. All right, here is it's, yeah, Ethiopia, the Herawi Bank, right? And I want to look at something over here that I saw up here. And um, let's see. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. All right, so here it says, right here it says, yeah, um, Amsa, yeah, Ethiopia, Bur. Right? 50 Ethiopian dollars. Lamchu. In the Kefal Hig Yas Gedadal. Yas Gedadal. In other words, this is payable to the bearer on demand. You see, because, see, in Ethiopia, right, when we say bur, right, bur, bur, right, which means silver, like the shekel in, 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 in the, from the Ibraist in, in the Hebrew, it actually means silver. So this means. 50, right? This is what it says, 50 
Ethiopian silver pieces, like saying 50 shekel pieces. This is a paper that could be during the reign of Kedamawi, Haila Selassie, right? During the visitation of the Hashem. This could be Baruch Hu, blessed be he. This could be converted over into 50 shekel silver, silver Ethiopian bur, right? You can get 50 of them. Now, that's why the dollar bill is more convenient in that sense. You understand, or the, or the not even do, what it's called, dollars. So when we say dollars, it's, it's really book. That, and that's a shekel. It's a weight. It's a shekel. It's a tabernacle. It's according to the, so it's not just the Ark of the Covenant being in Ethiopia. People say, oh, they just say that. No, the whole system, the whole indigenous system is Hebraic, not in name but he break in its operation, or at least it used to be. You know, with him, because it's been a great apostasy. Thus, we have um, 1974, 75, and, and the betrayal of um, Ethiopia, all right? Really, the rape of Ethiopia, if you, if you really understand. And it's not because we want to say that. It hurts us to even think about it, but the truth is an offense, but it's not a, it's not a sin. So, so this is not like dollar. We say dollar. We shouldn't even say dollar. In fact, we're going to have to do a little scrutinization of the word dollar. You understand? What's dollar? Like Creflo dollar? I mean, what they mean by dollar. All right? So that means you could get 50 silver pieces that are, have a certain weight and measure to them and also has a value. Right, has a value that has been consistent for thousands of years. Has gone up or gone down, depends on certain other um, conditions within certain systems. Now, let me show you this right here. This is, this is on uh, a keychain right here. This right here is um, His Majesty's money made into a decorative. This is Hamsa or Amsa um, Santin. So this is 50 cents. This is 50 cents. This is 50 cents. This is a real 50 cents. This is a real 50 cents. Right? This is 50 cents. But what we want to show you is just an example that it was made out of silver. It's made out of majority silver. I think it's probably all silver, but I know it's a majority at least. We'll, we'll, we'll do the check on it. Others who are into numismatics, you know, they can give some details to that. I love numismatics. Right? So this is... This is whose inscription is on it? The King of Kings inscription. Price and Kingly Characters inscription is on it. All right? So just kind of an example, you understand, of His Majesty's money. This is probably the most important, really, subject matter when we talk about, uh, you know, the present and even the future, you know, the present time, right, and, uh, and the future. So this was the original American money. So when I hear my pops or you hear your old timers, you know, your, your, um, your elders who, well, many of them will have to be over 70 years old, maybe 80 years old, talking about how it was. And they're talking about the good old days. We're like, well, the good old days, there was slavery, there was this and that. Yes, that's true. But maybe they don't understand or maybe they, 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 they're not, you know, all refined in their articulation to say, listen, they were talking about even the economic system. You know what I mean? When my pops would tell me for maybe a quarter, you could go to the movies, you could, you could take the transportation, you could get, you know, um, popcorn and stuff, or you could take a girl to the movies for like 25, 50 cents. Just, just what I showed you right here. You, you know, in other words, I could, go, I could take, take my wife, really, you know what I'm saying? But back in those days, you could take your girlfriend or you can go to the movies and take somebody else with you, you know what I'm saying, to the movies, right? right? You see this right here? You could, you could take somebody else to the movies, right, um, with just this 50 cents, right? And still have change left over. <laughs> People are like, oh, that must be a different planet, like a lot of the youth and younger folks. But we even see them for an hour, um, a visitation and our experience while on the mission for the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of Adonai, we even seen this to be so ourselves. You know what I'm saying? You, you see that. Now if you have, if you go to the store for a dollar, 
You understand? Yeah, um, um, you see what they've been doing with the, with the bags. The bags have a lot of air in it, or, or it's a different funny size, or it's not the same ingredients in it. You'd be like, oh, this don't taste like it used to taste. You know what I mean? What's going on in the place? Well, that's what it's about. That's what it's about, people. But anyway, so what basically happened, Mike, right, is that they took this out of circulation, the one where you get silver from the Western Gentile perspective. They took this out of circulation, right? They took this out of circulation. And then they replaced this, which was payable on demand in, 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 um, in silver, right? And you see it down there, payable on demand in silver, or actually from this direction, right? They took this out. And just look up silver certificate and then compare this with this. Right? And this basically is a no. It's a promissory no. We promise that there's silver there. We promise. So ones like even, what is it, Paul Ryan? Not Paul Ryan. What's the other, uh, what's the other guy that be running for stuff and be talking stuff? The one that, um, anyway, a lot of people have been talking about this, basically. A lot of folks don't really understand that. But then they always will complain when they go to the store and they can't get they like, I spent this much money. Look at the little bit of food I have. Look at the little bit of food I have. Now, we'll get into the conspiracy against his majesty and how that all connects. Can you imagine that the dollar was increasingly devalued? You understand? By the bankers and the whole the Balaam system, Balaam currency and everything like that. And then Ethiopia's money, right, still... If you notice how it was almost close to one to one, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was almost on this. It was not quite on that level, but it was, it was, it was basically very close. The scales was balancing, and as fast as 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 Ethiopia money came up, right? The line of Judah money came up. God's money came up. They they, they automatically was worrying. They said this is because they get more of this money, right? Um, you know, basically, you, you can understand what was going on. So a lot of people don't really understand when we say that the Illuminati was behind um, the, the creeping coup against Edomawi Haile Selassie. They don't really understand what it was about. And maybe this can help on one level, very pragmatic, a very real-world level. You understand? Because it said that the love of what? The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. You'll say, why would Ethiopians do that? You know what I'm saying? Why would they do that against his imperial majesty? If he was a, because they thought they could run it. They, 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 the, the old man, he's getting old. He, he, they're saying he's senile and this and that. Repentance is in order. But let's just go over this right here. So that eye, and, and you notice there's no funny eye. People say, oh, but it has, it has the Mercedes-Benz symbol on it. No, 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 no. Mercedes-Benz stole this. You know what I'm They stole. They stole from us. Right? If you look at it, they stole from Ethiopia. Right? They stole from Ethiopia. So, oh, that's a such and such. No, this is how they stole these things. They co-opted this, this ancientcy. They don't even have a right to really speak about this system. This is God's system. All right? That's why the world has turned into such hell over the, the, the decades and still getting worse because you're hearing this truth, but you don't want to receive it. So it says that for the eye on the back of the dollar, it says that this is their eye in all the land, Zechariah, Zechariah 5 and 6. Um, and there's a woman also in a measure. America is like this woman, Statue of Liberty. You, you kind of get it? According to Rashi, the measure is a symbol of dishonest trading. That's why the, the, the dollar, you can't get the same value for um, Washington, right? You can't get the same value. Really, there is really no value. It's just, a, it's just a federal note. There's no intrinsic value in this. They're telling you this over and over. That's why they're saying, oh, they have to print money at 50 cents on the dollar or, you know, or 150 cents. You know, it, it, what, what's all that about? They can't just print the money that they like. People say, why don't they print a million dollars and give it to her? When you understand the system very carefully, you'll recognize what hell they are in. Now, when you turn it on the, 
on the obverse. I don't like to touch it. We drop it. Okay, here we go. Right here. Right? Okay, we have this over here. Now, look at this. You all know where the eye is. So let me just read this right here. So this, is, this, this symbol, right, is a symbol of dishonest trading. Dishonest trading, right? That this is the measure of the punishment of those whose eyes are in all the land, really in all the earth. They're trying to get in Africa now, and, and they're coming in there like as do-gooders. Oh, we just want to help the people and set up a charity, right? A, a charity, uh, yeah, charity authority, which we're trying to set up. All right. Um, but they don't love God, and they lie to God, and you could see they put God right here on it. That might be one of the reasons why they got Sister Lauren Hill. Pray for her, brothers and sisters, you know, because the prayers of righteous people, you understand, is, is, is muy, muy effectual, right? Um, because we live in a time where it's very uh, difficile for many of our brothers and sisters, right? But so what they do is make the effort, right? They make the effort, which is how much you can get for this. Small, like ten years ago, if you took a dollar bill like this and you went to the corner store, wouldn't you get much more for it than now? They say, well, you know, times has changed in the whole economy and Wall Street, I don't know, and bankers. No, no, no. It's all, it's all sealed up in the scripture. The scripture seals it all up right there. Amos, uh, Amos 8 and 5, they make the effort, what you can get for the money, small, and the shekel, great. So nowadays, what you used to be able to get for $1, you have to spend $10. You see, people who are old enough, young folks, you know, young people are, as this man said, young people, you know, they don't know because they lack wisdom. They lack wisdom because they lack experience. It is unfortunate that those who are not listening to us, what kind of experiences that they may have to go through, and they might not survive the experiences. But we still pray for these and those. Their punishment is carefully meted out measure for measure. The measure that thou seest indicates that there is an eye above. There's an eye above. You see that? There's an eye above, right? There's an eye above them that see if they're doing. So even above them, you know, Selassie, I live it every time. You know what I'm saying? There's an eye above them that see if they're doing. Now, in the King James, in the King James Version, they basically said this is their resemblance. This is the picture or description of them that are in all the land, those who are in all the earth. You understand? And that's what they're trying to set up, a world order and a world authority in all the earth. And this is their secret. 